Thank you. This is a difficult time for students and staff at one Birmingham high school. In a span of one week, they've lost two 17-year-old students to gun violence, and today grief counselors were back at that school. Yeah, today they're trying to help the students and employees process the sudden deaths of these young people. Our Lee Garner was there today talking with exactly how they're going to cope. Lee? A absolutely, Sherry. There are going to be several small assemblies that the school will be holding for these students and for the employees of the school who have been affected by this, but there are lots of members in the community who are asking now, what can we do? Car passed by with bullet holes in it, and that's that, that's not unordinary. That's that's just a daily thing. You see that around here. Stanley Tarver so, drives past this memorial to Jazaris Webb every day. This is a hurting thing because I'm up and down this street often, and to see what I saw on that video, it really hurt me. Um, oh boy, it really hurt. New Era Birmingham, a community service organization, has been posting plans on Facebook all week for a community event called Hood to Hood at Winona High School for this Saturday. Initially, organizers wrote that the event would be held in memory of Webb. Now they're reaching out to a community devastated by the loss of two young men. Uh, the little kid's father, you know, he went to high, Winona High School just as I did, you know, finished two or three years after I did. But, you know, it, 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 it's, it, it's terrible right now. According to police, 17-year-old Isaiah Johnson was killed at least 15 minutes away from the school while trying to exchange and buy guns. It's been a, a trending thing over the years that they're getting younger and younger. Tarver acknowledges the neighborhood has seen hard times, and although the victims seem younger, the violence isn't new, but that doesn't mean they're complacent. As a family, as a community, as a whole, we, got, we have to come together and find a resolution to this problem. And as for New Era Birmingham's event this weekend, organizers tell me they're hopeful that involvement in the community will curb any future violent behavior and foster an environment of peace, unity, love, and respect among neighbors. Live in the studio, Lee Garner, CBS 42 News. Thank you, Lee. New at